Well, folks, looks like this is it. Poor chance is throwing in the towel. The trolls win again. Cyrax is in mega self-pity mode, and he'll never be back. Kidding! This is just another stage of the normal Cyrax cycle. The truth is, he'll never give up until he is literally unable to keep trying. What you're about to see is his best attempt to garner pity through moping, guilt tripping, and dry tears. Make no mistake, he does feel like shit. However, what you're about to see is melodrama and misinformation. Let's start at the end and go back from there. So to everyone that has watched my videos all these years on YouTube, I want to say thank you for all the good times, for everything that you guys have done for me. You guys gave a little motherfucker like me a fair shot. Because you guys believed in me, and I can't thank you guys enough for any of that. I can never repay you guys enough. That was a fast turnaround, Raxo. Yesterday, you were berating the quote-unquote fans for not sticking up for you. Remember? You told them not to worry about doxing and that they should be making videos to defend you. Here, let's listen to a bit. I was sitting there defending me like I would you. And I would. At the drop of a hat, I would defend any of you without question. And some of you, I have. But yet, I don't get the same in return. I, I don't get it. These trolls ain't scary. They're just fucking people playing Billy Badass on the internet. There ain't nothing scary about them. If they get your credit card info, so what? Shut your card down and get a new one. Simple as that. They go out to your internet. Okay, cool. Get another internet provider that's just as good. They get you fired from a job. Okay, cool. Find another job that pays 10 times better. See? That's quite a different tone than today's little pity shower. I can never repay back what y'all have done for me. But unfortunately, my journey on YouTube and doing content for the foreseeable future has come to an end. And not in the way that I wanted. In the way that the trolls wanted. The internet cyber police. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that it's over. I'm sorry. I am truly sorry to you guys. I tried my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. And I guess as always, nice guys finish last, right? Bad guys always win. And once again, these trolls get to get away with bullying people and getting what they want. So, I'm sorry guys. I don't know what else to say other than I'm sorry. I tried. Usually I don't like repeating myself, but for chance I have to make an exception. You are not being bullied chance, you are simply encountering a reality of life. What you do is not entertaining, at least, not in the way you intend for it to be. This is not high school, the content viewing public is under no obligation to support your garbage. I know you like to tell yourself people only see your tragic face and bully you for being different. That is not the truth. People can accept different looking folks, as I said in another video, I feel terribly sorry for your appearance. If you weren't a sicko, the combination of your looks and nerfed intellect would put me firmly in the don't care camp. However, the facts are that you're a sicko with a bad attitude, and you make garbage that might draw an impressionable victims. Chance, there is no question about it. You are the bad guy. And that was the end, let's jump back a few minutes to see what came before. Spoiler, a lot of the same. Their community tabs. They will find me, hunt me down, and fucking murder me in cold blood. Because they think it's funny to make people homeless and then murder them. These people enjoy murder. These people enjoy seeing people suffer. But yet no one's doing anything about it. The minute I speak up, I get kicked off of any platform that I'm on. The minute that I speak up, I'm sorry, but I wasn't raised to take shit like a bitch. I was raised to stand up for myself. I was raised to defend the weak. I was raised to stand up for what's right. What these people are doing is wrong. Every fucking bit of it. You know, I was on Twitch once. You know, I don't know if any of you know that, but yeah. At one point, I was a, I was a, I was a streamer. I was a professional streamer. 
had sponsors and everything. Everything was going good. Was making good money, had amazing sponsors that I enjoyed. But yet, what happened? They reported me saying that I was doing shit outside of Twitch that I was not doing. Lost making over a hundred bucks a day. All my sponsors out the window. I can't do anything because of these people. Every day I feel fucking trapped. Every day I am living in a never ending nightmare, but yet no one wants to do anything about it. And I don't understand why. I don't have money for a lawyer. I don't have money to fight back. I have no way to fight back. I can't afford a lawyer to fight back. Whoa, that was a lot of bullshit, Cyrax. First things first, the only thing a lawyer might be able to do is get Watch Chilkins to stop. Might being the key word. However, it's time for a reality smack chance. Your songs don't make the kind of money you think they do. You've said you're missing out on millions of dollars. That's just not true. Look at the number of views Watts gets. It's in the thousands. Now look at stuff by your favorite musicians. I don't know about the stuff you listen to, but the songs I tend to like have tens of millions of views. A few even have hundreds of millions or even over a billion. Those are big numbers. For thousand is a drop in the bucket and maybe, maybe earns a few dozen dollars. Barely enough to buy a AAA game. Anyway, time for a break. I can only look at this dude for so long before I need to see something beautiful, or at the very least, better looking and sounding than chance. Thanks for watching, part 2 coming out soon.